Hey guys, Greg with Fun and Sun RV. Welcome back to another walkabout. This time it is on our Surveyor Luxury Series travel trailer, and this is the model F33 FK DS floor plan, which is a 33 foot travel trailer with a front kitchen. And here she is. Check it out, she's gorgeous. It's all fiberglass exterior with aluminum stud superstructure. And we will start our walkabout at the front of the coach like we do on all of our trailers. So here we go. The very front here we do have the front power tongue jack right there. And it does have a hitch hookup light too. As well as we do have 20 pound cylinders and those are actually the uh, exchangeable ones uh, with a hard cover on it. And we do have a nice battery um, disconnect switch right there so we can shut off the battery when you're not using the trailer and this is a nice little feature they do give us a nice little caddy to hold the uh, umbilical cord uh, when you're not traveling down the road just keeps everything a little more organized that way uh, this does have a nice molded front cap with a dark tint wind fill on the front more like an automotive style windshield and again it is the luxury series nice diamond plate treatment right here then over here we would have the full pass-through storage compartment too as well which is nice on a front kitchen uh, combination thumb locks and key locks so it gives you easy access into the trailer when you want to uh, two slide outs we have one bigger slide out right here which is for the couch and dinette as well as the one on the back which is for your king bed we have uh, some nice aluminum wheels and those are nitrogen filled tires so they do keep them running cooler and uh, the radials as well right here would be our outside shower so we do have access to hot cold running water to the outside of the coach when you need it and down here would be your city water hookup your black water flush tank so that you can actually flush out your black water tank when you are dumping it and your cable tv satellite hookup right there over here we do have a nice storage compartment under the bed but more importantly, what's kind of nice is they do have these nice magnetic catches there, which holds the compartment door open for you, so you have easy access into the trailer itself, trailer compartment itself. On the back here, we will have a nice marine style plug on here, and in the case of this particular model, it is a 50 amp service, and we do have crank down stabilizer jacks, one in each corner, uh, which are actually load levelers. They actually are a lot stronger than the power ones, uh, and also, we do have these nice bulb seals on our slide outs with the sweeper gaskets too. So nice little setup there. On the back you will also have a four inch square tube bumper which is where you can store your sewer hose, fishing poles or anything else like that. All of your exterior lights including the ones above are all LED which is a nice touch. And in the case of all the luxury series on the surveyors we do have this nice storage rack on the back which can be used as a bike carrier. Uh, you can use it as a cargo carrier for firewood, put a generator on it, whatever. I mean, it just gives you a nice storage compartment there, or storage rack, so you can store things like that. We do have a ladder, so you can access the roof, which is nice. And then up here, you do have a backup camera prep, so if you want to put a backup camera on, you can do so. All of your windows are a nice dark tint, which is a nice touch. On the awning side, we do have two entry doors. We have the back one for the bedroom and a front one up there for your main entrance. Uh, your spare tire is mounted up underneath the trailer versus on the back. So it leaves room for that rack on the back. We have the nice fold up steps there as well as on the front. We do have the nice flip up steps uh, which are much more sturdier which flip up into the door. Uh, the whole exterior is fiberglass. We do have a nice power awning on here as well and another nice touch too is the fact that they do put the led light strip up in the awning too and it's at the outside so it actually lights up the whole area underneath your awning with a nice ambient light uh, over here you will have your outside stereo speakers one on each side with a patio light and then you have an area for mounting your tv outside if you want to so if you want to watch the game or whatever outside you can do that there's a bracket we do have a ground fault uh, protected plug right there as well as your cable hookup for the cable for your TV right there. Uh, over here will be your fresh water fill so this is where you would fill up your fresh water tank and then right here would be your six gallon DSI gas electric hot water heater right there 
And then here again is another access to the front compartment on this side. And it's kind of cool. These are all pet friendly trailers. So they do have the nice bowl there for your pet. So you can give them food, water, whatever. And also they are prepped for solar panel as well. So if you want to put a solar panel on here, you can do so. Uh, nice touch on their superstructure. They do use an Asdale uh, between the fiberglass and your, in, and your uh, wall framing. And the nice thing with Asdale is it's, it's waterproof, it's chemically inert, it's a textured, so it holds the glue a lot better, so you don't have to worry about D-lambs near as much. Very, very nice touch there. And that about wraps it up for the outside of the Surveyor 33 KFK DS travel trailer. Let's check out the inside, shall we? Here we are inside the Surveyor Luxury 33 KFK DS. And check this out, she is a beauty. It is a front kitchen floor plan, very, very practical floor plan. And we'll start our walkabout at the front of the inside of this trailer. And first thing you notice, Plenty of counter space, and these are all the one-piece countertops, so there's no seams to deal with at the edges here for water to get in there, causing any problems. Also, you have a nice set of drawers here, and these are all the wood frame drawers, full extension glides. They're actually all wood. You have a nice, you have four of them right here. Very, very nice touch. A nice sink area, which does have a uh, sprayer for spraying out your pots and pans right there as well as a nice country, country style large sink. Very, very nice feature. They do have the uh, sink lids in there too, which one of them is a dish drainer. Very, very nice touch. Uh, your overhead cupboards are all backlit. So that's kind of a cool little feature. So you got them all lit up out here. And that's more storage area there. As you can see, and again, backlit. So you can turn the lights off and on. We do have a three burner range with an oven. And the nice thing is all your burner knobs are backlit, so you can tell what they are. And they are a PZO Ignite stove. All you do is hit this knob here, turn the burner on, hit that knob, it lights the burners up. We also have this nice glass uh, stove cover, so it gives you more counter space. And then you have a nice knife rack in behind there. Then we do have our window. Uh, which is kind of a nice little touch too, gives you good ventilation that way there. Also, you're going to have a microwave right here, which does have a turntable inside. Uh, you have a nice big 12 volt refrigerator by Norcold. And the nice thing about the 12 volt or electric refrigerators is it gives you a whole lot more room inside your refrigerator compartment. All you do is turn it on right there and it'll run on. 12 volt when you're traveling, when you plug in at the campground, it'll run on 110. Very, very nice touch. Right there. And like I say, without those gas components in there, it does give you a whole lot more room inside that refrigerator. And down below here will be your fuse panel and your converter with a battery charger. So you have all your 110 volt breakers right there, as well as all your 12 volt fuses right there. And nice touch is that your 12 volt fuses do have an LED light. So if they burn out, the LED light will pop on, letting you know which fuse blew. That's stored right there conveniently. Furnace cold air return is right there. Right below the nice big pantry, right here. So you get a nice great big pantry, which does have adjustable shelves. So you take the shelves out if you want to, put them whatever way you want, add more shelves if you'd like. So it really makes it a very, very versatile cabinet. Also, you're gonna have your TV, your LED TV right there with the sound bar and that does uh, your AM, FM, Bluetoothable, uh, HDMI inputs, all that good stuff on the stereo system itself. And then you have some more storage area right there which is handy. And again the nice feature is all of your styles and rails are basically what they call wood core, which means they're actually a wrapped pine stock. They're all pocket screwed together, so they're more residential type cabinetry. And the neat thing about it is that uh, when you're putting screws into them, you're screwing into real wood, you're not screwing into particle board that a lot of your manufacturers have been using. Very, very nice touch. And this is cool. All of your hinges on a surveyor are hidden hinges. 
so you don't see the extra hinge on the outside. They're actually more residential styling. We do have your electric fireplace, which is a heat elator too, so you can heat this trailer on gas or electric if you so desire, and a nice area down below to store shoes. Very, very nice touch. Right here will be your sofa. So you actually have the theater seat as well as your sofa, and this will make into a bed. It is a memory foam, trifold, very easy to set up. Just pull it out, voila, your bed is out. To put it back up, basically all you have to do is grab the middle, lift up on it, slide her back, she locks in, and there you go, you're back to the sofa. Nice little mirror back there, and again, your nice overhead backlit cabinetry, which is just a nice little touch there. Let's mosey on down to the back. All your windows on a surveyor do open up for ventilation, which is nice. As well as you have on the main living areas, they'll have the regular room darkening pull shades, which I like a lot. As well as, like on the front or your bedroom, they will have the pleated shade, which is a room darkening shade. A nice pocket door for the bathroom to close that off so it's not in the way. And here's your bathroom. Very, very nice touch. You do have your toilet here, which incidentally is a china bowl versus a plastic toilet that a lot of your uh, manufacturers use with a foot flush pedal down below. Nice feature there. Uh, nice lavvy area or bathroom sink area. Does give you some extra cubbies right there and storage underneath the sink. Again, the one piece countertops with a good size oval sink for washing your hands. And this I really like, a regular wood medicine cabinet with medicine area there, and then uh, actual area there for storage. Hey guys, good to see you. We do have a nice linen closet area with four drawers, and this will have, again, adjustable shelves, as well as some permanent shelves for storing towels, toiletries all that type of stuff and again these are all adjustable here so you can put more in if you want to take them out and down below here this will actually be washer dryer prep so if you want to put a washer dryer in you can the hookups are already there so you can put a splendid all-in-one washer and dryer in that cupboard these are all hardwood cabinet doors and i like the fact that they take the bathroom and they use a different color wood which makes it again more residential like what you have in your house you don't have the same wood in every room so they give you two-tone cabinetry and then this is really a nice feature too you do have a nice walk-in radius shower with a tub surround so it's a functional shower a little shelves there for you as well as a uh, skylight so it gives you natural light again it's regular glass shower doors radius nice nice little touch there here's a cool feature too we do have a high cfm fantastic fan in the bathroom area so it's a, you know three speed fan it's very quiet it's an attic fan type so it really draws a lot of air in a lot of cases you can just open your windows turn that fan on and it'll, it'll cool the trailer out very very well and this is nice too they actually put the monitoring panel in the bathroom where you need it so you can tell hopefully your gray water tanks black water tanks you can turn on your hot water heater from here as well as your water pump from here and this is nice they do put light switches on the wall so you don't have to reach up on the ceiling trying to find all the lights and incidentally all of your interior lights are LED as well so they use a whole lot less energy they're a lot brighter and they can put a lot more of them in the trailer and then here's your bedroom very very nice feature here you got the uh, nice shirt wards on either side a nice area for your TV right here as well as another electric fireplace right there which is nice again you can heat the bedroom on either gas or electric if you want to you have all again full-length extension drawers and they're all wood not particle board that some manufacturers use plus you have a variety of sizes so you have more of them down below which are deeper for storing stuff and a nice little area here for shoes or whatever as well as down below you have an area for storing shoes and again here you go you have your wardrobe on there so his and hers wardrobe and then your bed is right here really nice feature here is it's a king size bed so it gives you plenty of space and they do give you some nightstands 
right there as well one on each side which is a nice little touch as well as LED charging ports right there which is very very important and they do have the king size bed right here as you can see so it's a good size bed very very nice and again a lot of lights one two three four five six six lights in the bedroom that's crazy they do give you a lot of lights in here pocket door versus swing door just much more practical there and again wall switches so you can turn your bedroom switch on from outside the door there turn your bedroom lights on and that about does it for the inside of the surveyor luxury series uh, 33 KFK DS travel trailer if you have any questions on this coach or you'd like to view it Please contact Coopersville at 616-837-9768 or you can call our Ludington location at area code 231-845-8282 or visit us on the web at www.fnsrv.com. Again, this is Greg Grossenbacher with Fun and Sun RV and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and happy camping guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.